You've heard me talk a lot about the Hyper Evo T12. Oh my god, that's a big spider. <laughs> Play. Look! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. After I made the video where I unboxed and reviewed the Red Dragon Kumara keyboard, I realized that it's not wise to do an unboxing video and then have any other full content within that video as well. And that's because unboxings are meant to be kind of like mysterious and a surprise. And to keep it that way, I didn't disclose what was in the box in the title of the video or showed a picture of it in the thumbnail. I didn't even talk about it in the description. Well, a majority of the video was also me testing and reviewing the keyboard. So if somebody was interested in a video review and went to YouTube to look for it, my video might not pop up at the top of the search. And if it does, uh, because I did put Red Jack and Kumara in the tags, they might not click on it because the title and the thumbnail are completely unrelated. Due to the nature of my channel and my hobbies, I think I get enough boxes that every once in a while I can round them up and do a mass unboxing. And I do know what's inside these boxes already, but I'm still super excited to open them up because they've been sitting in my room unopened for a long time just for this. And I hope you all can enjoy this because it's kind of a sneak peek as to what may potentially come in future videos. Um, but I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm rambling and let's get to opening these boxes. Trusty knife, and let's start with the small stuff first. So these are green LED strips that are powered by Molex connectors on the power supply. I bought these because they're really cheap on Amazon and they came all the way from China which is why they're really cheap. But they're about $3.50 each and for 7 bucks, they can add a really good amount of accented lighting to a case. So I can't wait to get those in in a future video, in a future case. Next up is this uh, small envelope. And inside are four PAX Prime tickets. If you don't know what PAX is, it stands for Penny Arcade Expo, and it's a gaming convention that happens four times a year. One occurs in the East Coast, one in the West Coast, right here in Seattle, one down in Texas, and one in Australia. The last time I was at PAX was in 2013, and I actually cosplayed on that one. I'm probably not gonna be cosplaying this year because I don't have enough time to get one together. And right now, I only have four Monday passes. What I plan to do is somehow trade two of them to get two other better days because Monday is kind of at the tail end of the convention and the prime days are really the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I just realized that this box should not be here. This is actually for a future budget build and I'll probably open this near the end to kind of show you guys. Um, but next up is this Amazon Prime box. Inside is a Hyper T4. The Hyper Evo 212 is one of my favorite air coolers, but I've never actually owned a Hyper T4, and this is just one step down from it. It was on sale on Amazon Warehouse. I guess not on sale, it was just priced really low on Amazon Warehouse because if you don't know, that's the used section of Amazon. And for a heat sink where it's just kind of a chunk of metal and a fan, even if it's used, it's basically new. And I think it was only like 17 bucks, so I decided to grab it when it was at a pretty low price because I'm always gonna need coolers for future budget builds. And then this right here, um, when I first got it, I didn't recognize what it was because it did not come in an Amazon box, but it actually is uh, from a seller through Amazon. And this is the Hyper Evo 212, which I was just talking about. And this was also on sale on Amazon Warehouse. And I do have a build that I'm doing for a friend soon, so I needed one of these. Because it's so big, you don't have to have your fan on as loud if you're just keeping it at pretty cool temperatures by not overclocking. So for overclocking, it's great. For not overclocking, it's still great because you can have a quieter CPU fan. All right, one of the big boxes now. This is from Amazon. And this actually came in like one day, even though Prime is like two to three days. I forgot what this keyboard is even called. Oh, I guess it does say it on here, but it's 
super tiny. But yeah, this was on sale. Um, I saw it on sale on Slick Deals for $30. So it's a blue switch mechanical keyboard or blue clone switch. So I'm going to be reviewing this and it even comes with a key puller like the Red Dragon Kumar did. But yeah, I'm really interested in all these budget mechanical keyboards because they're so cheap and I can afford getting more of them to review. But because they're so cheap, um, if I do resell them for a slightly lower price, I'm not losing as much money as if I get one of the more expensive, well-known brand ones. Alright, the next big box. And this has been sitting in my room for a long time. I just haven't had time to actually use it, so I never opened it. Let's see if the invoice is in here. When did I buy this? I bought this on June 19th. So it's been like a month and a half already. And um, what was the final price? It doesn't have it on there. But we have a motherboard. So this is a Z170 chipset motherboard, and if you didn't know, that is the highest chipset for uh, Intel Skylake processors. And this one is a micro ATX board because, as you know, I am super into cube-shaped cases. Originally, I wanted to look for one of these used, but people do not sell used micro ATX Z170 motherboards. I just couldn't find it anywhere. So this was around $90, which um, for a brand new board and one that's micro ATX, uh, it wasn't that bad of a price. So I'm super excited to get to use this. Um, just let me put it down now. So that leaves one last package and it's not Target. Um, this was just what it's wrapped in. But I got this from someone I know from Intel. Uh, they were able to get me 50% off an Intel processor because they worked there. Here it is. This is the i7-6700K. I'm finally gonna be able to overclock my processor. And that's because uh, in my current build, I have a 4690K, which is unlocked and overclockable. But the motherboard I paired with it was an H81. And I chose that because it was cheap at the time and I was planning on eventually getting like a Z87 or a Z97 motherboard used uh, for a good price. But one never came along. So I had a nice H100i uh, all-in-one dual radiator cooler on it and it just ran at stock settings the whole time but now I can finally put that to good use I have this 6700k and a Z170 motherboard and I'm going to upgrade soon once I finally get the time all right I lied the 6700k was not the last thing I totally forgot about this and this actually wasn't something that I bought and got shipped to me uh, this was actually a Craigslist pickup and it has to do with the next budget build It is an unmarked graphics card. Uh, this is gonna be the graphics card I'm gonna be using in the budget build coming at the end of the month. And uh, feel free to try to guess what this is. It's actually an OEM card, so it's gonna be really hard to. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I am working on a budget build and you can expect one to come because the last one I did was basically the beginning of June. All right, that's about it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, then as always, I appreciate it if you can leave a thumbs up and sub if you haven't yet. But in terms of announcements, uh, for those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, I've been talking about this for a while now, but I'm in the process of moving. Um, I'm moving all throughout this month until the end of the month where I'll be out of my house because my lease is up. I've actually been living in this house for three years now and it's finally time for me to move on. A lot of my stuff is already packed, but as you can see, I've left this side of the room kind of untouched because I still want to record videos up to the point where I'm out of the house. I'll give you a sneak peek though of the other side of my room that you don't get to see too often, except for my room tour, but that side is basically cleaned up now. But here's like the tons of boxes that I have packed up. My TV's gone and already moved. And then this corner, it's completely blank. It used to be where I had all my extra computer stuff. I'm starting to get really busy at work and you know, in real life trying to move all the stuff and pack it up. It's kind of hard to make videos with my stuff scattered between multiple places. 
So over the next couple of weeks, I'm actually gonna be releasing the footage from the LAN party I went to back in spring. I finally have those videos wrapped up and I'm actually really happy to be able to release them because they're gonna hopefully buy me some time uh, as I move. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy these videos because it's more of a vlog style, but it also shows me in a different light when I'm not just in front of the camera making these types of videos, but just me hanging out with my friends and playing video games. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.